Hey guys, it's Julie Salat, your intuitive healer for your life and business. How are you? So good to see you. Um, I am here. Let me just put this in my ear so I can hear. Uh, I am your intuitive healer. I am a shaman. I am a seer. I'm a channeler. I'm an animal communicator. Uh, I help people find their gifts, leverage their gifts, learn how to use them, and then find their true soul's purpose on planet earth. So I do a lot of different things. I'm thrilled that you're here. I have a new camera and it feels like you guys are so close to me, but you're really not. So this is for the 33s, right? I am an 11, ma uh, Master Life Path 11. If you're a master number, that means that we've been around a little bit longer. This is not our first rodeo. We have uh, been reincarnated quite a few times. And if you're new to my channel, I go by Life Path Numbers, which is numerology, not astrology. So it's not by your, your sign. Like I'm a Scorpio, you might be an Aries. This is all about your Life Path Number and you get your Life Path Number by your birthday. So you add up the numbers of your birthday, which is the day, the month, and the year that you were born. So, so simple, take October, if you're born in October, that's a, the, a 10th month, right, out of 12 months. So you'd add one plus zero equals one. The day of your birthday, 25, you'd add two plus five is seven, right? And then let's just take any year, this is not the year I was born, 1983, right? We'll say one plus nine plus eight plus three, okay? Add those up, I think that's 21. Um, and then you add those three numbers together and then bring that down to the lowest number possible. You guys are life path number 33s. You are master life path numbers. So in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over quickly a little bit about your number. Okay. Because if you're new here, um, each number has attributes and things that they need to work on shadow aspects, just like everyone else does. And then what I will do is I've already called in my team of guides we are completely protected. I'm going to pull some animal spirit cards. I've already done that for you. The animals have something to say to you. I'm going to ask your ancestors to come through. I'm going to do a channeling for you as well. And then I've also got some uh, oracle cards that will help us guide you with any questions that you might have or help you to go to your next level. Um, this is a reading for the collective. I hope that it resonates for you. If it does, that's awesome. If it doesn't, Hopefully the next one will. Don't try to like make it fit. Either it will fit or it won't. And sometimes my channelings are very specific and sometimes they're for lots of different people. So we will call in your ancestors. It's a timeless reading. Whenever you find it, you find it. So please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe the videos. Leave a comment. I read every single comment. I respond to every single one as well. It helps me grow the channel. Definitely subscribe. Definitely like. Um, and because I'm growing the channel and, you know, it's just amazing to work with you guys. I'm open for readings. I do coaching work with my clients. So you can hire me for a single session or I work with people from one month, three months and six months. And I help you find and reconnect to your heart, find your gifts. And then we align you so that you take very aligned, extreme action towards your mission and what you're here on earth to do right? There is homework. I am very involved. You text me. I, we have Zooms like this. I send you all the Zooms and, you know, my, my clients get really good results. And I'm just basically here to show you the way because I really struggled with my gifts and understanding them. I thought that was a curse. I didn't really embrace them till much later in life. And I suffered for it, right? I really suffered trying to find my way. I was afraid of my gifts. You know, nobody gives you a manual, right? And I didn't understand them. And I felt very uh, misunderstood. I didn't understand my gifts. I couldn't figure them out. And it wasn't until, you know, the last couple of years when I was in corporate work and I just thought, you know what, this isn't working out for me. I have to follow my heart because I was a people pleaser, a perfectionist. And I always wanted to, you know, I really didn't want to let somebody down, you know, and but to the point where I overdid things, like I was trying to please my parents and people around me, but I wasn't happy. And so here I am now doing the work that I love. And I always believe that, you know, divine timing, this is what it's all about. I believe in God. And I'm telling you that because I'm going to read you a little bit of a download that I got. I get downloads all the time for my clients and for me and for humanity. 
And, you know, you can believe in whatever you like, spirit, Lord Shiva, your highest self, whatever works for you. But truly, it's all about embracing who you are, because it's always for the win, 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 right? I believe this whole pandemic has happened so that you can level up, transform yourself, you know, learn what you're really here to do, what your soul agreed to do, and then step into your power, right? So let's do this. First thing I want to do is let's just take a couple deep breaths together. So I'd like you to center yourself and just get comfortable. We're going to take a couple deep breaths in together. I want you to just focus on your heart and opening your heart as big as you possibly can. Let all of your um, thoughts just relax. Um, let your walls down, let your protection down. I've got my angels here. I've got everyone here. My whole team's here and we are completely surrounded and protected. And this way we'll just get in sync with each other, right? This is for the collective. And I really need you to help me as well. So take a deep breath in and just focus on opening your heart. Take a deep breath in. We'll just open our hearts, let it out. Take another deep breath in, just breathing in that beautiful light, that soft, pure light, and open your heart and let it out. And I just want to read to you a little bit of a download that I got. This is about a year ago. And I it was about my um, one of my animals, um, a snake, one of my snake totems who was on my team, uh, had helped me. And this was interesting because I was babysitting. Uh, I do some dog sitting for clients as well in my neighborhood. And there was um, a snake outside, a real life snake, as we were walking the dogs in the backyard. And what happened was I noticed the snake. It was a pretty big snake. So I put the dogs inside really quickly because the dog was one of those dogs that's really small and I could get right in there. And I thought, oh my gosh, I don't want anything to happen to the dog. I went back out and I looked at the snake and I kind of, got the feeling that it was a her. And I also got the feeling that she was pregnant and she was going to have babies. It was very interesting because my snake totem was right with me immediately. And that was how I discerned the information that it was a female, that she was going to have babies. And it was because of my snake totem giving me this information and covering me that I was able to just leave her alone and wish her well. And she was very relaxed. She didn't come near me. I didn't come near her. And she just knew that I was not there to hurt her. And, and I wished her well and good luck with everything. And, you know, this is what as humans we need to do. We need to not just look, but actually connect and not go to, holy crap, it's a snake. Oh my gosh, what are we going to do? Let's go kill it. Like, and she moved on, right? I knew it was just, if I just let her be, she would just move through and just, I didn't want her hurt. I didn't want, you know, I wanted her to just go in peace. Right. And this is what I, I got as a download. And it was like, yes, dearest, you know, you were in snake energy. You were learning that you were actually at one with the snake, right. As any other animal who has come to help serve you and give you information. It goes much deeper than what many can comprehend. You, my beautiful daughter can share this with the class. You guys, the animals are here to help you and give you proper cover. These are your totem animals, okay? If you do not have, if you did not have my, my, my snake animals energy, you would have been in a very different situation. A pregnant snake is a dangerous snake. She, meaning that snake, recognized my snake's energy on me and was very calm. You were calm as well as if you were greeting an old friend. Yet without that protection of my snake and God, obviously, things would have been very unstable. Please teach others how important it is to have with and how their team of animal spirit totems are and how crucial they are to them. So what I wanted you to understand was that when I teach people how to call in their team and your team is comprised of, first of all, God, spirit, the universe, whoever that, that top rung is, that top being, your highest self, whatever you believe, and then the archangels, okay? And then all of your totem animals, and then your ancestors. Now remember that everybody has certain ones on their team and they want to help you. 
so badly. First, you must call them in. Secondly, you want to get on a one-on-one -on -one relationship with them. Every one of my team has a name and I know them, right? I'm talking to you as I'm talking to them. When they come towards me, when my snake came towards me, I asked me, thank you for being here. And I asked, you have to ask to work with them. You have to ask them into your life, okay? They don't just appear. And if they do appear, then you need to ask for their help before they can give it to you. There, just as there are laws here, spiritual laws, natural laws, right? Like the law of gravity, the law of attraction, there's energetic laws, there's spiritual laws, right? So, you know, you need to ask your team to come forward and then you need to ask them to please help me with my life. And it's so simple. People get really confused and that's a big deal. It's very simple. Just say, Archangel Michael, please be with me now. Archangel Michael, and this is what I always ask, Archangel Michael, would you please take away and destroy any energetic cords that are for me to anyone or from anyone to me that are not for my highest good? Please sever those cords now. Thank you so much. So that's just an example. I ask Archangel Michael to please be with me now. I ask Archangel Michael to help me to do something. And you can talk to them and ask them for their guidance. Call in your ancestors. Ancestors, I ask that you please be with me now. I ask that all of the ancestors please come forward for anybody that's watching this video right now in the collective. And I ask that you would help me receive information from you for them that they would be able to have that message. Thank you so much. Okay. So it's very important that you call in your team, you get to know your team, please do this. It's important for you to grow. They're here to help you, protect you, give you wisdom and joy and information, okay? But in this case, this could have been a very different situation for me if I'd come upon the snake who was pregnant and if I didn't have my snake with me, guiding me with that energy of just very calm and relaxed and protecting me. And she responded in kind, okay? She was very calm, but it could have been a very different situation. Every one of you has totem animals, spirit guides. You may have very well more than one, you may have many. And you need to get to know them. They all have names and they all wanna help you just as your ancestors do as well. Let's talk a little bit about Life Path 33. Just a quick review. I know a lot of you watch me all the time and I really appreciate and love every one of you. You know that I do. Um, and I thank you so much for being here because I know your time is valuable. But if you've never been here before, I just want to give you a couple of quick attributes because you guys are amazing. You guys are amazing balls, as I always say. Um, you guys are the nurturers. You are master teachers. You love to nurture and use healing gifts, your healing gifts to heal the, yourself and others. You strongly represent love. You are very focused on harmony and you were born to have a spiritual path, which is why you constantly push yourself to be better. You have very high expectations on yourself and others. You're very creative. You're artistic. Okay. You're very loving and joyful, have great energy, very sympathetic highly sensitive. You guys sound like us, right? We're all, all these master numbers are all kind of the same. Um, when life path 33s are not in alignment with their higher self, they become critical and perfectionist, which lead to self-destructive ways. Okay. Your sole purpose, you're here to use your loving and healing energy to help the world have a deeper understanding of the meaning of love, right? So your doctors, your teachers, your marriage counselors, your social workers, your musicians, your singers and your artists. Now, to work on, okay, the, all of the master number holders face many tests of ethics, responsibility. Um, the 33s must learn patience, okay? They can be prone to anxiety, depression, impulsiveness, and mood swings due to a busy mind. I know all about that. Hyperactivity and control and drama, okay? Trying to rescue people all the time, all right? Body image, eating issues. Um, self-criticism, um, especially if they eat a lot of sugar, empty carbs, which create impatience and a victim complex. I didn't know that. What? Hold on. 
Rewind. What? Did you guys know this? Eat, body image eating issues, self-criticism, especially if they eat a lot of sugar or empty carbs, which create impatience and a victim complex. Wow. Addictions, allergies, and burnout. Need fresh water and food, preferably organic. Are extra sensitive. Exercise is a must, okay? Especially martial arts, yoga, or Pilates to improve your core muscles and posture. As a teacher, energy, you find it hard to listen to people they don't respect, okay? You have a strong sense of justice. 33s are hard to school because they are eager to please, but take criticism to heart. Sounds like that's 11s. Uh, give them a chance to mentor others and you'll see them bloom. They aren't, they aren't learners. They, they really, okay, they aren't school. They value real life experiences. Al Albert Einstein was a 33. Wow. Wow. Gigi Hadid. Huh. You're a natural humanitarian and leader. You're bright, authoritative, tenacious, disciplined, articulate, socially expressive. You know, you guys are party animals. You're funny, adventurous, you're self-motivated, right? Like all master numbers, you're connected to star seeds. That's why many of you enjoy doing what you're great at, manifesting what you want, right? I feel like a lot of us master numbers are very similar in that we are very hard on ourselves. We are um, perfectionists. We don't take anything lightly. We see all the layers. Uh, we're very, that's what makes us misunderstood because we want to help so badly that sometimes we overstep our bounds and try and help people that haven't actually asked, asked for help yet. And that creates not good karma, just so you know, okay? So let's get into, I have, I just wanna see what the animals have to say. Let me just actually tune into um, your ancestors. So let me just, Take a deep breath in, ancestors, please come forward for any of the 33s. What would you like to impart to them? Okay, they're showing me a lot of you in a you're in a um, corporate setting. It doesn't matter if you, doesn't matter your rank, doesn't matter if you have a corner office near SVP or if you're in marketing, it doesn't matter. But they're saying that you are doing too many things. In other words, you're trying to do everything. So they're saying they're giving me master, what was that, how does that saying go, master? Jack of all trades, master of none. And they're saying for you to be your most valuable, you need to pick one thing or two things and do them. Now they're saying that you're multi-talented and that's okay. And they're not saying you have to do only that one thing, but what they are saying is you're trying to do too many things. And many of these things are out of your um, wheelhouse. So you're doing things because like say I was walking by your desk and I'm like, can you do this for me? And you're like, yeah, sure. And then somebody else comes along, hey, can you do this for me? And you're like, yeah, sure. And then you're staying really late at night. You're working yourself to death, doing other things for other people that you shouldn't be doing. Meanwhile, it's because you're not putting down a boundary, okay? You still have to learn how to say no, right? How to say no, how to put a boundary down and say, you know what? I would love to help you, but right now I have all these other things to do. If I can get to it later, I will, but I can't promise you anything. Sound fair? Okay. Or just, you have to say, no, I would love to help you, but I have all these other things to do and I have to get through them. They're saying that people will understand. This is part of your transformation and your growth. You need to make sure that you start putting this stuff 
in practice. The longer that you don't put a boundary down, the harder it will be for you to bounce back and do what you need to do. They're saying that a lot of you are afraid of who you truly are. You're holding your gifts at arm's length. You're not letting them in. You are scared of yourself and what you can do. And I completely understand where you're coming from because I did the same thing. I put my gifts off. I said, I don't wanna know, I'm scared too much DNA, um, but I can tell you that to be a balanced, happy person, you need to start to embrace who you are. It's the only way you'll be happy. You came here to planet Earth, your soul agreed to it, you agreed to learn lessons, not, not failure, just lessons, whether they're positive or they're, there are difficult lessons. But you have gifts that are crazy good. And it's time for you to start acting accordingly. You're a freaking unicorn. Start acting like it, right? You're here to help yourself and help others. You're here to do things that other people can't do. Your energy's off the charts. You're highly intuitive, highly empathic. You have gifts galore. It would be such a shame to not use them, but you do have free will. Spirit is saying you have free will. That's up to you. Your gifts don't go anywhere. If you choose not to use your gifts, they don't go anywhere. But I'll have to tell you, they can still keep knocking on the door until you finally are like, okay, I'll start. Also, a lot of you are afraid to talk to your shadow self. And I can tell you that your shadow self is 50%. You're only running at 50% of your power, if that's true, because your shadow self, you need to make friends with. Your shadow self is you. You're not separate. I always thought it was two separate things. You're not. Every thought you've had, your shadow self has had. The difference is that your shadow self stood in front of you and took the hit or showed you a way out while you were in the background. Merging with your shadow self will give you all your power. It will be completely unlike anything you've ever known. And we are taught from when we were young to not look at it, that it's not us. We shouldn't talk about it. It's the worst thing you can do. Because to be balanced, you can't have all light or all dark. You have to have dark and light, right? You have yin and yang, right? Good and bad. That's balance and harmony. So you have yourself and then you have your shadow self. You have your highest self and your shadow self and they balance each other out perfectly. And you need both. You got dragonfly spirit. Truth transcends illusion. You all have a lot of illusions around you right now that you're believing about yourself. You're buying into the fact that you cannot move forward in life due to the fact that you're a certain age you don't have enough money in the bank, whatever enough is, it's in your mind, you've made it up. You don't have the right connections. There are things that you really want to do that the people around you would balk at. Your husband or your wife would balk at it. Your sister or your brother would balk at it. Your parents would balk at it. Society, you're thinking, would balk at it, but that's bullshit. In other words, let's just say you're an accountant. And you know that this is not your path. Yes, you're good at it. Yes, you can do it. But you really want to try something different. You really are artistic. And you really want to start drawing and taking your drawing and showing them to different places and having people see if they can buy your works. You want to be somebody who draws on a national level. You want your, your work in, you know, to have exhibitions. But the people around you are saying, that's not realistic. The starving artist thing, that's too hard. You won't make any money. That's bullshit. Um, you're not good enough. Maybe you're not good enough. You know, it's just kind of a passing thing. 
you know, you got a good thing going here. You're making a lot of money as an accountant. Why screw that up? Uh, because your soul's dying every day. But you still say, okay. Another year goes by, okay. And Spirit's asking, what's it going to take for you to step out? What's it going to take? How unhappy do you really have to get here? Pretty freaking unhappy. How many years are you going to be unhappy before you finally say, you know what? This isn't working for me and I have to step out. And you know what? I don't need you to understand it, but you just need to support me through it and love me. And if you can't do that, then we may have a very much bigger problem on our hands. Because a lot of you are transforming and changing and the people around you are not. And this happens a lot. And that's why this whole pandemic has brought this to a head for a lot of people. The job that you've had for a long time isn't working anymore. The, the spouse, the marriage isn't working anymore. It's been working for 20 plus years. Why all of a sudden now? Because somebody's changed and they're transformed and evolved their mindset. And they're now open to spirit. They're open to changes. They're open to their authentic self. And the other person is not. Koala spirit, spirit has a plan. Your soul came here for a reason. You agreed to be here to learn lessons. There are lots of cycles right now that are shifting and changing and, and ending so that a new one can begin. You're never alone. A lot of you think you're not supported, but the universe wants you to know that you're supported no matter what you do. Even if your whole family and your spouse says no, but you know when you heart you must, the universe will support you, the archangels will support you, spirit will support you, your ancestors will support you, and your totem animals will support you. Please understand that you are supported. Spirit has a plan for you, a plan for your life. Mouse spirit, tend to the small things. A lot of us overlook the details, the smaller details, but the small, it's always the devil's in the details, right? But the details are what make you successful or not. If you have a plan, you want to try something different, you need to employ help. Don't try to go it alone because you'll miss things because just because you don't know the way. We cannot see our own stuff. That's why every coach has a coach. I can't see my own stuff, right? Ant spirit, see, time to collaborate. See, like ants, they work together. They work in harmony together. That's what's, that's what's happening here. You need help to make your dream come true. Go find it. And it's not always a form of money. It can be a form of just support. It can be the form of just employing a coach to how can I get stronger in my gifts? What's the next best step for me? Maybe somebody to help you market your business if you don't know marketing. So you just do your zone of genius, right? Get help quickly, don't wait. Because somebody who knows the road knows how to, like I, I'm saying, come over here. Here's the road, I'm holding up the light. Here's the road, go down that road, right? That's important. Grasshopper spirit, take a leap of faith. That's what I'm talking about. I don't make this stuff up. You got some Oracle cards. For your inquiry, trust your path. As you know, you would be supported. If you knew you would be supported, what would you do? What did I just say? I don't even look at these, you guys. I don't look at them. You are supported. If you knew you were supported, what would you do? You're supported. God told me for two years to do what I'm doing right now. For two freaking years, I said, maybe later. Okay, later. I'm an idiot. Who does that? It says no to spirit. What a douche I am sometimes, right? But you know what happens? I was afraid. I was afraid of being on camera. I was afraid you wouldn't understand me. I was afraid that it was too much. I'd be too exposed. What if I said the wrong thing? You wouldn't get it. And you know what? Spirit said, I'll, I'll handle all that stuff. You just have to be the channel. I'll come right through you. And it's true. It's not me that's talking. I'm channeling from spirit for you and your ancestors. It's not me. 
just get out of your own way because you are supportive. Just get out of the way, just do it. And now it's amazing. And I love, I love it because people get it and I'm helping you. And that's what I want to do. I didn't want you to suffer like I did for so freaking long. You are suffering when you are not living your life in alignment, doing what you came here to do, not using your gifts. When you are in alignment and you're using your gifts, it's so easy. It's just flow. You're in a flow state, right? It's easy. It's not hard because what you were born to do, you guys were all born to do something great. You just have to remember what it is. That's what I help you with. It's my superpower. Star seed, what lights you up? If you're a master number, you're a star seed, probably, or a Palladian. You're here for a reason. You're here to help hold down the planet, light, help me, help the collective. Soul family, call in your tribe. You don't have to do it alone. You're never alone. You don't have to do it alone. Call in your tribe, right? We're all here to help each other, lift each other up. That's what the win-win-win is about. It's not about I'm successful and I step on you and you suffer and you do the same to someone else. It's like, no, I shine my light so you can shine your light and you can shine your light for somebody else. And then we're all helping each other. That's what it's about. Leap, you go first, the universe will catch you. I say this all the time. You have to do it scared. It's going to be scary. Every level you go to requires something new of you, right? It can require you maybe offering money that you don't have or you don't want to give. It can require you getting on camera that you're nervous about. It can require you being vulnerable. It can require you testing your knowledge. If you're a healer like I am, when you use your gifts the first couple of times, you're scared shitless. And I'm not going to lie to you. The first couple of times I was scared to death. You know why? Because you're doing it under pressure. Somebody's paying you to do this and they're asking you to call in your, to just call in your gifts and they're asking you to do what you do. And I thought, holy shit, this better be here for me because I'm scared. Because if it's not, I'm going to be embarrassed. I'm going to look stupid. I'm going to feel bad. I'm going to have to give them their money back. But you know what? That never happened. When I called in, it was there for me. And then I got confidence. And it happened again and again and again. And now I don't even think about it anymore. It's fine. It's there. It's like, it's like child's play. But every time you move up a level, you try something new, that's what's going to happen because you're trying under pressure. There's pressure to perform. But you know what? If it's there, if it's in your wheelhouse, you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, it's always going to be there for you right? Always. Your activation codes, transformation, things are changing at a cellular level, deep healing. This is what I'm talking about. This is like my light language. Light language is speaking in tongues and I have this as a gift. It's one of the strongest gifts that I have. I don't know what I'm saying. Sometimes it sounds Native American. Sometimes it sounds Asian. But what it is, is it's straight from God, it's straight from spirit, and it helps you heal at a cellular level. When I speak it to animals, they all come around me. God told me it's the only language the devil doesn't know. And it's the oldest language ever, right? And it's a gift. And it came on me at a Joyce Meyer event. And it heals. It's healing. And I also get uh, words and information when I do it. And it sounds, you know, like, they're saying this is for all you believers who don't believe, you non believers. Get out of your own way and let us come through, let us help you. But for, for you to let us in, you must let go of your ego. You must believe in yourself and in us. Let your ego go. Drop your swords and let us in. 
So you can be all of who you truly are to be. That's light language. That's from the masters. That's from my ancestors. That's from God. Deep healing. Transformation. The age of light. You've been training for this for lifetimes. I can't make this up. Thank you, God. Thank you, spirit. Thank you, ancestors. Thank you, everybody. Confirmation. What did I say? You've been training for this for lifetimes. All you have to do is remember you're a master. You're a master freaking healer. A master. You've been doing this for a long time. Many, many, many lifetimes. All you have to do is remember who you are. You're a master. So I don't try and trifle with this anymore. Okay, can we make an agreement right here, right now? No more small stuff. No more, I'm not good enough. No more, I can't do this. Bullshit, you're a master. You're amazing. You're a freaking unicorn. Own it, own it, step into it. There's too much at stake for you to stay small. Embrace who you are. All right, everybody, I love you guys. Thank you for being here. Hopefully this helped you. Let me know in the comments if you like the content. Send me some suggestions. I'd love to hear them. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. Tell people about my channel. And I love you guys. All right, thanks so much. Talk to you soon.